okay in this video i'm going to talk about some more dbcc commands like show statistics okay and many what is dbcc show statistic it displays the current query optimization statistic for the index the statistics or the column can be used with the table name or the view name okay. using the show statistics with the index name upkl title id end okay this is the index name you are i'm going to use the show statistics with this command and let's see what it what it generates there we are it is giving the details of the index further actually if you want to understand what the details are and other things are you can refer the online reference okay giving the details would actually take a lot of time here now suppose what if you wanted to find out what are the user option okay, that has been set for the current connection you can use the dvcc user option and check it out and it will give you the user options okay this is what are the user option that has been set and what are the values to they are set to now let's go to the next option next command show contact displays the user information for the data and indexes of the specified table or view okay this is what show contact does now let's give it execute this command and see what the show contact does here we are it has given the details of the title tables it has shown the information now suppose if i wanted actually to check out with the index also not only with the table name but also with this index so i can use this command with index and there it is it has actually given the report for the user information that is whatever is required okay it gives the scan density average page per extend and everything all those things you have to refer to the technical document of the online help and then let's go to the another one this is with the table result these are all options with the contact i will leave it as it is these are other different options that you are going to use with the show contact okay does the table result was fast with no info messages means it doesn't print any info messages now let's go to the move to the next command okay now there is one option we will use it and see it is show contact table result and all indexes let's run this thing the below displays the result of every index on every table in the pops database okay because pops actually has been selected as a default database so it is displaying the result of every index on every table in the pops data as you can yourself see it the index name is there okay that object is the title author is the table's name okay here is the index name and then there are other details of the index i will not go into the details of everything okay now there is another command known as dbcc check log it checks the consistency of the disk space allocation structure for the specified database let's run this command and see it there it is it is showing the details of the command now i can always check the same thing with the pubs database check the allocation of the for the pubs database with no index i can always do the, this thing and run this command and see it again there it is here we are lot of information here now this is a technical information if you want if you can want to find out what what they are you should always refer to the online help once again i'm telling it to you okay now suppose if i wanted to use a check along with a repair allow data loss repair allow data loss already i have spoken out to you what does it does in the video number 1 of the dbcc command okay anyway i will explain it to you it allows you to repair it will try to repair any any errors but it may lead to some of the data loss while actually the repairing is taking place okay the other options are not actually available with this check along with the pubs okay like repair rebuild is not applicable to it and then repair fast is also not available it is for the backward compatibility only okay 
we have to put the database in a single user mode to execute this command here we are we have already actually got it the got the result let's set the database back to the multiple user mode let's execute execute the command there we are now display the logs size and the percentage of the log used for every database in the server that okay that is sql perf command dbcc now this will display every log file in the sql server for every database and it will show us what the space is already for allocated to the transaction log and how much space has been used okay this is our log file that is already at the size of the log file and the percentage of space used now i can look here and find out what the problem is okay on the log file if the log file is getting shorter or is giving me problem or is going to give me problem in the future look at it okay and that, and then i can take the decision to increase the log file depending about whatever i wanted to do do and whatever the status was syncing the database the database and the log file with db dbcc sync database command here it is okay now there is a option see as you can see dbcc sync database okay it syncs the database okay this is the first is the database actually parameter then there is a percentage what is the percentage that would be left over after shrinking very simple okay then there is option no truncate and truncate okay i will explain you both of them you can only have one of those options percentage and no truncate or truncate these are both optional okay you need not use it you can just have to actually the only one option that is one one thing that is mandatory is the database name oh now percentage i have already specified is a free space left over after the database is shrunk now let's go to the see what's the non truncated option means okay what does non truncated option means it moves the allocated pages from the end of the file okay to the front of the file but does not return the free space to the operating system means the file size remains the same and if you say truncate only okay it will free the space at the end of the file but it does not move the allocated pages to the front whatever at at, at the end of the file if there is space at that is free it will return it to the operating system but it will not move the allocated pages from the back to the front that is that option now now this below command will string the database pubs to the minimum size and the pages would be reallocated and the free space at the end of the file would be back given back to the operating system this is how the command works if you just specify the pubs that is the database name only now this will actually string the database pubs okay, and reduce the free space up to up till 20% only the rest of the free space would be returned to the operating system truncate only and non truncate only i have already specified show talk to you about what it does okay i will just end it here okay